It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior using Microsoft 365 on a Chromebook. Is it possible? Well, of course it is. And it's free. I'm going to save you some money today. Wow, this is going to be great. You know, two years ago, I made a video, Office 365 on a Chromebook. But so much has changed, I've decided to make another video about this and we'll call this the revised edition. So stay with us and I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft products on your Chromebook. But first we have to define what we're talking about. Many people say, I want to use Office on a Chromebook. Well, what is Office? Other people will say, just use Google Drive. Well, what is Google Drive? Google Drive is a physical place but what, uh, what is on Google Drive? How do I use that? Let me define exactly what we're talking about. All right, on this side, you'll see on the left-hand side, I have Microsoft products, and on the right side, I have Google products. Now, Microsoft sold a suite of products called Microsoft Office, and this included Microsoft Word, which is a, a document producer. We have Microsoft Excel, which is a spreadsheet, and we have Microsoft PowerPoint, which is a presentation program. Microsoft bundled these and sold these core products under the term Microsoft Office, which bundled this together and was sold as a CD DVD. Uh, you probably remember the famous version Office edition number 10. This occurred probably in the early days of Windows 7. It was said that China produced over a hundred times illegal copies than Microsoft ever produced or made legally. So obviously from a business point of view, this wasn't going to work out. So Microsoft decided to change this. And as we moved into um, the later stages of Windows 7 and certainly Windows 10 and 11, uh, we saw Microsoft produce uh, Office 365, then it became Microsoft Office 365, and now it's just called Microsoft 365. This, of course, is a subscription service. Now, you don't buy physical CDs, you don't buy DVDs. You, this is a subscription service to Microsoft. And I, but I will tell you, this is going to be free. Now, Google always had those products available for you for free as part of your Google account. And most people will have a Google account, particularly if you have an Android phone, you use Gmail, you'll have a Google account with a certain amount of data and storage on Google Drive. In fact, you get 15 gigabytes free of charge with all these applications as well that are similar to, of course, the Microsoft applications. So let's have a look at these applications and see how they compare. Uh, first of all, you'll see that we have Microsoft Word. Now Microsoft Word is equal to Google Docs. Google Docs is the product that Google uses. These are very similar products. They can be used interchangeably. Although they have different file formats, it's very easy to open one up and close and the two work really very similar and are interchangeable. Uh, my advice to you, if you are a hard, fast Microsoft Word user, give Google Docs a try. I don't think you're going to see a huge difference between the two. They both work very well and should be easy to use for you. Moving down the list, you'll see <coughs> Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet, very powerful spreadsheet that has been used for many years. Google Sheets is the same product made by Google. You'll find that the two are interchangeable. File formats are again different, but you can move back and forth through the files very easy. Again, I don't see a huge difference between the two, and I would encourage you to try Google Sheets. The third item down the, in the list will be uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint has been around for many years and is an industry standard and one in which I use every day about six or seven hours a day. So I'm, I'm very familiar with Microsoft PowerPoint and of course Google makes Google Slides. 
Google Slides is a presentation program. Again, your uh, the formats, you can open up Google Slides in PowerPoint and vice versa. PowerPoint is an industry standard though, and if you are a professional, you are using a, a PowerPoint for uh, all your presentations. Uh, you probably will want to continue on with PowerPoint. Although Google Slides is good, uh, PowerPoint still is the uh, general industry standard. The fourth uh, product we're not going to talk a lot about, but it could be Outlook. Of course, Outlook is your email management software in Microsoft. This again can be used on your Chromebook and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So on the left hand side, we have Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, which comprise the Microsoft suite. And on the right side, we have Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides, which are of course the Google suite of products. And we often loosely term this as Google Drive. Although Google Drive has many, many more free software programs for you that come with your Chromebook. So you might want to have a look at that. But when we're comparing uh, Microsoft and Google, these are the three applications that we usually compare. Now, if you're starting out in your Chromebook and you're wondering, should I take all my Microsoft products and try and run them on my Chromebook? I will tell you that it, generally speaking, I would give the Google products a try. You will find that there are some advantages on a Chromebook using the Google products. Of course, Google makes the, the uh, Chrome OS that the, um, that the Chromebooks run on. One of the big advantages, of course, will be using your Chromebook offline. In other words, not connected to the internet. And this, of course, is possible using the Google products, but not possible using the Microsoft products because you will have to be connected to an online service to do that. The first place that you might want to look for Microsoft products would be the uh, Play Store. So let's click the Play Store on our Chromebook and go and have a look. We're going to do a search and we're going to search Microsoft. So we come up to the search bar in the Play Store and we come to Microsoft Office. Let's do a search and see what we find. Well, we're going to find three products where, of course, you see we have Word, we have Excel, and we have PowerPoint. Now, these are the old apps in the Android Play Store. These will not work. Uh, if you click on the Microsoft app and you open this after installing it, you'll get an error message saying switch to office.com. This is a new online version and we're going to talk about using a progressive web app at that service in a few minutes, but this will not work. If you have old, uh, these old apps on your Chromebook, please delete them and remove them as they will cause conflict. Uh, you do not want to use the Play Store to get your uh, Microsoft apps for your Chromebook. Where you need to go is to the Chrome Web Store. So now we're on my Chromebook. Let's uh, click the Web Store and it will bring up this menu. In the top, I want you to type in um, Office and we'll come up to the top here in the search. We're going to type in uh, Microsoft Office. And this is going to bring up some extensions. These are Chrome extensions. And as we come down, you can see here is one for Office. Uh, you're going to add this, and this is going to add Office as an extension to your Chrome browser. And this will work if you have um, Windows 10 or 11 as well. It works in your browser. So we're going to click this and we're going to add this to as an extension to your Chrome browser. We're then going to come down and we're going to add Word Online and Excel Online as uh, browser extensions as well. Let's go to our extension menu and let's come down and we'll see Microsoft Office here and we're going to sign in to our Microsoft account. And when we do, you'll see that all our files are going to be here 
as I click the button for Word, it will open up our uh, my um, Word account on OneDrive, and here are all my files. But if you look up at the top, what we're really doing is what we're linking this to the office.com, which is of course the online version of Microsoft Office. Now I've told you that the Microsoft apps in the Play Store don't work. So I've shown you how to uh, install the uh, Chrome extensions, which have the Microsoft Office available. Now, the preferred method is to come over to uh, the Microsoft site at office.com and sign in to your Microsoft account. This will enable you to download the progressive web app. Now, you come over to office.com and you have a number of options. Now, the sign in to your office, Microsoft Office account is really the sign in to your Microsoft account. So if you signed in in Windows 10 or 11, you can use the same sign in and password. It will automatically find your Office 365 account if you have um, signed up for one. Now here we are logging in. I say yes. Now we'll see that I'm in my Microsoft account, which is, uh, this is uh, OneDrive, and you'll see that all my files are here. So on the left-hand side, you'll see all the uh, apps that are available for you. So the important thing for you to understand here is that we are at the same point, whether we use the Chrome extension or logged into our Microsoft online account. It, the Chrome extension simply takes you to this point quicker into your online account. Nothing has changed. So whether you go and type in www.office.com or whether you use the Chrome extension, the point at which you are going to access your account is exactly the same at the present time. So here is the trick and the point of this video. Come up to the very top and you'll see a little button here. When you click that, it then says install this app. And you're going to click this and install it. And then what you're going to notice is that your um, software will open up. In this case, it's a PowerPoint slide. What you've just done is you've downloaded and installed the progressive web app for Microsoft Office. Now this is downloaded and installed on your Chromebook. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is the way that you get the app. It's not found in the Chrome Web Store or the uh, Android Play Store. It is found on the Microsoft site. All right, this is my Chromebook and I have Microsoft Office installed as an extension as, and as a PWA. So let's have a look uh, at it as a PWA. Remember, I've downloaded and installed that app from the Microsoft site. So if we come to the launcher, you'll see that here is the Office app that is installed as an app on my Chromebook. But this is not from the Play Store. This is from Microsoft, and this is called a PWA, or a Progressive Web App. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. And this is now, I've uh, dragged it down, and of course it is now on the shelf on my Chromebook, which is here. If we click on this, this will take us right to uh, my, um, uh, my, my Microsoft account. And of course all the um, software that I want to use is along the left here. And if I open my PowerPoint presentation up, here we go. And here is my PowerPoint uh, uh, presentation. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to close this now. But I also have this installed as a Chrome extension. So if I come up to the top, you'll see, of course, as we come along over the top here, you'll see these are my extensions. And uh, if I come to the extensions menu and you come down here, You'll see here is the uh, here is my office extension, and I've put the, I've clicked the pin on and I've pinned it so it is always active at the top here. 
So now I have it as an extension, uh, as a Chrome extension, but I also have it as uh, installed as a progressive web app. And you're going to say, well, Ron, what's the difference? But let's come back up here. Let's just click this. And again, you'll see here's all my uh, all the software that you can use. And uh, we click on Word. And of course, it will open up. Um, uh, it'll open up in in Word. And here is all my here are all my files. So we have this the ability to do this uh, in both ways. At present, there is no difference between um, the progressive web app that you see on the bottom shelf here and the Chrome extension. Microsoft hasn't built into the progressive web app the ability to use this offline. The goal of progressive web apps, of course, will be that these are an app that you can use and you'll be able to use all the functionality offline. But Microsoft hasn't built that into this particular progressive web app. So at present, if you plan on using Microsoft Office on your Chromebook, it is available. You can use it for free, but it's not going to be available offline. This is unlike the Google products on your Chromebook, which of course you can use offline. Microsoft Office on a Chromebook. Hey, it's free. Now you remember the like and subscribe. We sure appreciate it. If you're interested, Huey Poplick and I have a monthly seminar on Chromebooks called Learning Chromebooks. It's free, but you do require registration. And if you want to go to www.techforsenior.com, you can register and participate in our monthly session. Till we see you again, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Thank you.